Good morning, church. Uh, it's Pastor Travis here again, having my coffee this morning, and, and um, it is Thursday morning, March 26th, and uh, it's funny, staying at home, I'm losing track of the days sometimes, as uh, I'm sure some of you are doing as well. Uh, but anyway, I wanted to do our devotion this morning in Ephesians chapter 6, um, verse 10. We're going to start out this morning. It says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Okay, this is a time that we need to be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the trickery or the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand, continue to stand. And here's the thing. I want to look at that word, um, withstand. The word withstand actually comes from the word, from the Greek actually. It's Strong's number 436. It actually is compared to the word antihistamine. Antihistamine, okay? And um, when we understand what histamine is in the body, histamine is a compound which is released by the cells of the human body in response to an injury or in response to an allergic reaction, and inflammatory, uh, inflammatory uh, reactions begin to happen in our body because there's a secretion of histamine that comes and uh, causing contractions of smooth muscles and dilations of capillaries. Now, I'm not a doctor. I'm just reading this here um, from, from the net. What histamine is, it's a, uh, it's, it's a secretion of a chemical called histamine. An antihistamine is a drug or a compound that inhibits okay, the uh, physio physiological effects of histamine, uh, used especially in the treatment of allergies. Okay? Um, and this is important to know because um, when we're all stressed out, okay, uh, our body releases hormones and other chemicals, one of those chemicals being histamine. It's a powerful chemical that leads to allergic symptoms and it can make an allergic reaction worse by increasing the histamine in your bloodstream. So histamine is released when there's stress and anxiety and this secretion of over excretion of histamine will cause a weakening of the immune system. And so the en our enemy knows this and I find it very interesting that the scripture tells us to, to um, antihistamine. So the the armor of God becomes a, I don't want to say a drug, but it becomes a, <laughs> becomes a, a force that is anti, that pushes against the release of anxiety in our lives. And um, God wants us to use the armor of God to, to stand. It, it is our antihistamine. So I want to say this morning to put on the armor of God. And as you do so, you're, you're, uh, you're taking your antihistamine. Amen. <laughs> it's important because, um, the armor of God, is, it begins to be listed here um, in verse 14. It says, stand therefore, okay, having girded your waist with truth. So, number one, we want to surround ourselves with the truth of God's word. Don't surround yourself. Like, it's okay to check up on the news and, the, you know, we need to keep updated with the news. But don't spend all your time watching every news broadcast every testimony of a, a death that's happened somewhere in the world, because you're not surrounding yourself with truth, you're surrounding yourself with that which will cause histamine in your life, all right? So be very careful that you don't spend all your time in that place. Stay in the truth, amen? Number one, so we have to surround ourselves with truth. We have to put on the breastplate of righteousness. We want to protect our heart. We want to protect that because the breastplate protects the internal organs, but it protects the heart mainly uh, from arrows, oncoming arrows from the enemy. We want our heart to be pure. We want our heart to be on fire for God. And when we live lives of righteousness, which just means do the right thing, you know, uh, just do the right thing. 
instead of getting angry and losing your temper, choose to be at peace. Do the right thing. You're putting on the breastplate of righteousness, okay? That was just a quick one example. There's many, many examples. Uh, it says that you shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. The gospel of peace. We're going to be at peace. We're going to be soldiers of peace. We're going to share the good news of the gospel. We're not going to condemn. We're not going to criticize. We're not going to judge our neighbors, but we're going to share the love of Christ and the forgiveness that is found in him. The gospel is full of peace. And, and when you find a person of peace, share the gospel. If they're not open to it, knock the dust off your feet and go somewhere else. But the gospel is the gospel of peace. And above all, take up the shield of faith, right, which is the promises of God. We've been talking about that in the last few devotions. Take the promises of God. Pray the promises of God. All right. Um, and we can quench all the attacks of the enemy, all the fear, all the anxiety. Your word says, your word says, and you can pray the word, you can meditate on the word, and histamine will be defeated. Amen? And so we move on. Then we have um, the helmet of salvation. We take the helmet of salvation. We need to know in our minds here, we, the Bible says, renew your mind with the word of God. And the word of God declares that you are saved, you are sanctified, you are precious. So don't let thoughts come to your mind that would say otherwise, because you are blood-bought, you belong to Jesus, and in the midst where it seems like everything's falling apart, the reality is we're all in this together, and we need to be confident in our God that this is an opportunity. Every crisis creates an opportunity um, for, for revival, it creates an opportunity to shine for God, okay? And then the last one is the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, and we take the word of God and we declare it. And as we declare it, um, we, we, we have victory. And then it says very, very quickly here that we're to pray always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, being watchful with all perseverance and supplication for the saints. Okay. And so we are to be watchful and we're to be praying always. We're supposed to have a lifestyle of prayer as we go through our day, as we spend time Um with our families, just be prayerful and trust the Lord in this time. And we're going to come out on the other side stronger, on fire for God, and um, uh, just ready to get back together. Because I know um, that with social distancing, it, it just there's a missing of connecting with one another. So I want to just say to you, be blessed, Father. I pray that every person listening to this little video here, God will today. Um, Use the armor of God as an antihistamine. They've taken their antihistamine today. That they're going to defeat histamine because the enemy wants to create fear. That is his strategy, accusation, and a spirit of fear. And right now, the whole world, okay, uh, is under the the sway of the wicked one, and there's fear. And I think the fear is worse than than the virus that's going around. The virus is a real virus, but the fear. Is just what's what's driving what could drive our whole economy into a negative place. So God, we pray against the fear, and we pray, God, right now that your people will stand in faith, and they'll use their antihistamine against the attack of the enemy. In Jesus' name, you guys have a blessed day, and I look forward to uh, connecting with you soon. Bye now.